Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode of my weekly reading diaries where I talk about all of the kids lit that I have read in the last week. It's been a pretty busy week for reading in terms of both reading at work and also at home and there's a couple of titles that I'm not going to mention in this video because I will have future videos on them coming very soon and I'm very excited to share those with you all. In terms of things that I was reading at work in the classroom, we were finishing off our startup learning program so we were doing a lot of work around well-being, around our school values and things like that. So I, a lot of the titles reflect that. We're also looking at growth mindset so a lot of the picture books feature those themes and then we also started our first class novel which is going along swimmingly. In terms of the picture books that we read this week we read two by Zani Louise that linked in with our school values and sort of our work around that so there was resilience and kindness and both of these books feature five different characters who are all experiencing moments where they need to demonstrate these character strengths so either resilience or kindness and so we were reading those to look at the examples to talk about times where we have been in situations like that how we respond how we display resilience or how we show kindness. And we also use those as a jumping off point later in the week when we actually created our own classroom matrix. So we spent a lot of time using books like this to help us unpack those things and then came up with our list of, well, what does resilience look like in the classroom? And what does responsibility look like in the classroom? And so on and so forth. We also read Incredible You by Reese Brissenden, which is a really great growth mindset book. It is all about celebrating the amazing things that make us us. It's very bright, it's very colorful. There's a lot on the page, so it could be visually overwhelming for some students but it's a lot of fun and there are some really great messages in there and they were also very keen to read a book I'm pretty sure I've reviewed it on the channel already Can You Teach a Fish to Climb a Tree by Jane Godwin. This is very similar to Incredible You except it's really focusing on you know asking the question can a fish climb a tree? Can something do something? And the answer for most of those is no because that's not within its skill set it's not what it's designed to do but that doesn't mean that that you can't be amazing and incredible if you can't do something that is well outside of the scope of what you can even attempt. And so this one was really about that growth mindset, about looking at your strengths, identifying those and how you can leverage those to succeed in whatever you want to succeed in. And the other book that they were desperate to read because I'd spoken to them about it last week and we were talking about the way our brain works with like just a general conversation. And I mentioned that I had a book called Your Brain is a Lump of Goo and it, you know, the book compares your brain to a pineapple. I have reviewed this on the channel. We finally read it and they were laughing so much. They like the humor in this is really pitched at the right level for year one, year two, year three students. And they thought it was hilarious the way that the brain was talking to them and telling them about all the amazing things that the brain can do, but in a very humorous, very approachable style. They were a bit disappointed that we didn't have time to read the nonfiction section at the back of the book, which I did promise them we will come back to at some point, but they did enjoy the humor of the narrative nonfiction part, which was great. It was also a really great way for them to start thinking about all the things that their brain does and that it's okay if it doesn't get everything straight away because it's doing a lot all the time. Because it was the week leading up to Lunar New Year, I read Our Family Dragon at the start of the week to them as sort of a, a lead into it. It was really applicable and really appropriate. They really enjoyed this one. They really enjoyed the illustrations. They were pretty excited to talk about the dragon and those people who'd seen lion dancing and, and whatnot before. So there was a lot of really great connections happening. And so it was really, really lovely. And I think it's really nice to be able to tie in those cultural celebrations where, where appropriate in the classroom, because it gives us the opportunity to connect and get to know other people in a different way. As for our class novel, The Wild Robot by Peter Brown, I have not reread this book in a while. And I actually have the third book that I haven't read at all. So I've got that to pick up and read sometime soon. There's humor in it. It's a fun story. It's about a robot. So we're only about six chapters into it as you know, after two days, we had the book in the classroom for two days and we we're about six chapters in. They're very short chapters. They're like one to three pages long most of the time. And there's illustrations through the book. The Wild Robot, if you've never read it, is about a robot called Roz who is being transported on a cargo ship. And in the very first chapter, we find out like the story opens with the cargo ship sinking. And there are six boxes that manage to float to the surface and not sink. And five of them crash against the rocks and all of the robot bodies inside are destroyed. And the sixth one ends up on a rocky ledge and some very curious otters come along and accidentally activate the robot inside the box. And that's Roz. Throughout the story, it is Roz adapting to the environment that she finds herself in because they're on an island. There's really nothing around. There's not not any humans, it's all animals. And I'm very excited to continue reading this because there's a lot of enthusiasm in the class for the book. And they like that it's short chapters, we can get through a couple of them in the five or 10 minutes that we have to share the class novel. So 
yeah, I think it's going to be a really good one. All right, so that is the reading diaries for this week. I will leave all of these books linked down below. So if you want to find out more information, you absolutely can. I'd love to know if you've read any of them or if you're planning on picking any of them up. Otherwise, feel free to leave a robot emoji to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.